An essential nutrient is one that cannot be created or synthesized by the body. Because the body cannot make it, we must then receive this nutrient from the food that we consume. These nutrients include essential proteins, minerals, and vitamins, among other things. Failure to consume essential nutrients can have negative impacts on the body and overall health. Malnutrition describes a scenario where nutrients are out of balance. This could be due to either deficiency or excess of specific nutrients. As an oversimplified example, deficiency in malnutrition can lead to stunting, where the individual does not acquire enough nutrients for proper growth, or excess nutrient intake can lead to obesity, where people are consuming too many specific nutrients and gaining extra weight. As mentioned before, some nutrients are essential because the body does not make them. There are a total of 20 amino acids that exist to build proteins, and 9 of them are considered essential for the human body. The other 11 are either non-essential, because the body can make them, or conditionally essential, which means the body makes them but at lower rates. And sometimes, like during pregnancy for women, they become essential, because the body needs more of them. While talking about amino acids in proteins, we need to mention phenylketonuria, or PKU. PKU is a genetic condition that mutates the phenylalanine hydroxylase enzyme. Phenylalanine is an essential amino acid, and when we consume this amino acid in our food, our body breaks it down using the phenylalanine hydroxylase enzyme. If a person has PKU, it means their phenylalanine hydroxylase enzyme does not function properly. This results in a toxic buildup of phenylalanine in the blood and urine. This toxic buildup could lead to brain damage as well as other serious medical conditions. PKU is treated by a very strict diet that limits the intake of the amino acid phenylalanine, preventing any large buildup. In addition to the nine essential amino acids, there are some essential fatty acids as well. While humans can synthesize most fatty acids from carbohydrates, omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids cannot be made by the body and are therefore essential to have in the diet. Our bodies can't synthesize these lipids because we lack proper enzymes to create double bonds at the required positions in the carbon chains. Foods rich in these fatty acids include fish, leafy vegetables, and walnuts. While discussing fat molecules, aka lipids, It is important to understand cholesterol and how it works. Fat molecules and cholesterol cannot be broken down in the bloodstream. Because of this, the body packages them into protein structures that can be transported. These are called lipoproteins. High-density lipoproteins, or HDL, carry excess cholesterol back to the liver for disposal. This process, as I am sure you can guess, lowers blood cholesterol levels. Low-density lipoproteins, or LDL, carry cholesterol from the liver to the body. This in turn raises blood cholesterol levels. Consuming fats as a part of one's diet directly influences the levels of both HDL and LDL molecules. Both saturated and trans fats can increase LDL cholesterol, which can be dangerous. High levels of LDL in the bloodstream can lead to a buildup of plaque in arteries. The plaque, as seen in the image, is made up of LDL molecules. Blockage of blood flow from this buildup can lead to a heart attack if it occurs in a coronary artery. For this reason, doctors often check a patient's LDL and HDL levels to see if they are at risk of developing a clot. Vitamins are molecules that are very diverse in both structure and function. Many vitamins are essential as they cannot be synthesized by the body. Two important vitamins for the body are vitamin C and vitamin D. Humans cannot produce vitamin C and therefore must consume it in their diet, usually found in citrus fruits. A lack of vitamin C can lead to adverse health effects, one of which is a condition called scurvy. Scurvy can lead to many symptoms, some of which are loosened teeth and bleeding gums. Additionally, a lack of vitamin C also weakens the immune system. Vitamin D is also important for the body, and the body can synthesize it through exposure to sunlight. Vitamin D is involved in the absorption of calcium and phosphorus in the body, both of which contribute to bone formation. A lack of vitamin D can cause a condition called rickets, leaving bones weak and misshaped from improper development. (music) 
Dietary minerals are essential chemical elements that the body needs to function properly. You can see from this image a few similar elements that are building blocks of molecules that make up the body, like carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, and hydrogen. Additionally, other minerals like calcium, phosphorus, sodium, potassium, and iron are important components of teeth, bones, body fluids, proteins, and hormones, just to name a few. A deficiency in one or more of these dietary minerals can result in specific problems and disorders. Hormones are chemical messengers that control many processes in the body, and one of those processes is appetite. The hypothalamus receives signals from leptin and ghrelin, which inform the body to feel hungry or full. Leptin lowers hunger levels, telling the brain to stop eating when food has been consumed, and ghrelin increases hunger levels when the body needs food. Changes within these signals may result in improper balances, causing individuals to over- or underindulge. Individuals who overeat are likely to gain weight and develop obesity-related illnesses like hypertension, which means the heart muscle overcompensates and pumps too hard because blood is being restricted in the vessels. And type 2 diabetes. Undereating can result in starvation and anorexia, in which the heart muscle begins to break down due to lack of nutrients. This can cause heart arrhythmias as the heart diminishes in size.